So this is how to make a very happy baby after eating and winding. This one is spoiled so she knows what's about to happen. Basically she needs winding a lot because she eats so much and I discovered that she loves a good She's listening. Good massage. <clears throat> Look at that face. A good massage helps with baby's nerve development, believe it or not. Muscle development. It helps to get the daddies out there closer to their cute little babies. And those daddies who don't get close to their children, I feel sorry for them. Really. You're missing on something. Never rub up their spine on the actual bones. You can wipe over it gently but you can't push down it. It's good to keep babies de-stressed. Uh, they'll sleep better, eat better, less noise to disturb you, they're going to be happier, you're going to be happier, trust me on that. Having a stressed baby isn't good for your sleep. No, you shouldn't do it too hard. They'll let you know if you're doing it too hard usually. Look at the fingers of the baby, not me. You see how she's responding, she's taking her fingers out. If they have bad digestion, a gentle rub on the belly helps them to deal with that. Helps them to, uh, you know, be gentle. Yes, she's loving it. Oh, she's so spoiled. By the way, she is awake, but she's too busy enjoying this. Oh. Belly. Very gentle. Maybe for those daddies who don't have enough time with their children, this could be a good way to maximise that very precious time. The more movement they make early on, the quicker they walk quicker their muscles will build up, the quicker they can start pulling your wardrobes down, playing football with you if you're in football. Very gentle. 
they'll show you if they are distressed. Now it's very common for some babies to have weak hips for the first couple of months. So get them checked out. Ugh. Yes. Mm. Yeah, let's do your legs now. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. That was that one. Mm? Nice. One day you might give me a massage, hmm? What do you think? Will she give me a massage one day? Yeah? If she remembers how good I gave her massages, she might. Right, head. This bit she loves. Front first. Very gently. It's actually good to give them a head massage like this before eating as well. It seems to make them react just the same as if you stroke their face here. They start to do this. It can help by massaging their head first as well before eating. How's this? He's loving this. I guess you can hear her breathing change. Do her cute feet. Would you let me do your feet now? Hmm? Yeah? I'll do your feet now. And now this lovely young lady is going to have her feet massaged. Look at that smile. Yeah. Look at that smile. Don't do it so soft that it tickles, but make sure you don't do it so hard that it hurts. Now look at that smile. This is what we want to see in a baby. A lovely smile. And she might even open her cute eyes. Yeah, she's a happy baby. I really advise people to uh, take a baby massage class so they can pick up some good techniques. I've never personally done it, but then you will end up by doing a general massage. Let's see if we can make this little one really, really happy. So she'll sleep a lot today. 
and give Daddy a rest. Squeeze the arm like this, carefully of course. Shoulders. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. That is lovely. Very gently. And top of the digestion. Mm. Anyway, this one's definitely going to be sleeping. For a little while. So, bye. This is the result of all that massage.